Hello, it is Social Media Saturday, June 27th, 2020. Steve Cypress here as we near the end of the first half. It's almost half time of the year. This has been an absolutely crazy year, and the chaos, unfortunately, I hate to tell you, is just getting started. But anyway, Social Media Saturday got a tip for you. If you like getting uh, engagement on Facebook posts, now I don't use this strategy, I do Facebook advertising, and I use a bunch of Facebook groups and pages, but uh, I have some clients, I have one in particular that does this phenomenally well. So here's the key to what Facebook likes and what Facebook doesn't like that'll help you get Facebook to show your posts to more of your friends, and it will... Uh, get more of them to comment and engage, and therefore Facebook shows it to more of them, and therefore Facebook shows your next post to more of them, even if it's not as good as the first one, and on and on. So there's a lot of good comes from this. And then, of course, if you're looking to develop relationships for business, uh, it helps that you have first engaged them on social media this way. So here's the key, is to put long Posts. Type out long posts with personal stories. Keep them positive. Facebook can't stand negativity. So I know you aficionados of marketing, especially if you follow my stuff, of effective advertising, marketing, sales, negativity, fear. You can see it right now in the, in the way the nation and the world is scared out of their minds about just about anything these days. Fear, negativity works best to get people emotionally all riled up to take action. Uh, but Facebook doesn't like it. So to be compliant, as they say with Facebook, you want to stay positive. So keep your posts positive and tell stories. Keep them personal and type long posts. And here's the number one thing what not to do that Facebook does not like. Do not include any links in these posts. Facebook does not like links, not ones that take people outside of Facebook. Anyway, if you link somehow to some content you have on a Facebook page or to a Facebook group, something like that. I mean, usually not necessary to do it anyway, but that Facebook is okay with. But when you take traffic, if they click and they go outside of Facebook, well, of course, Facebook doesn't like that because in case you haven't guessed, Facebook loves when people stay on Facebook and engage and just keep going through their feed and liking and commenting and liking and commenting and checking out cat videos and what people had for lunch and not going to YouTube, for example, to watch cat videos and see what people had for lunch and other things. They want to keep people on Facebook. So I see it all the time and I'd have to say, oh, it's probably 50 to 1, the people, including me, this is what I do. I I do not, again, I don't, I don't use this tip myself. I don't look to get uh, engagement on Facebook as one of my strategies with my, uh, my free Facebook personal profile. It's not one of my strategies, but I'd say it's 50 to one that people post on their personal profiles with lots of links. Here's an article, here's a this, check this out, here's a video, here's an article, here's a whatever, and you're not gonna get a lot of love from Facebook when you do that, especially if you keep your post short. So long, engaging, positive, personal posts with no links outside of Facebook. That will get you the best engagement on your personal Facebook page and get Facebook showing your stuff to more people. And it's a positive spiral. You'll keep getting more engagement. Facebook will love you more, show your stuff to more people. You get more engagement. And if you can turn that into customers, clients, members, patients, whatever it is for your business, good for you. Otherwise, at least you can turn it into fun. And that'll do it for Social Media Saturday. I'll check in as always tomorrow just to say hello. On Sunday, fun day, I'll be back with more business building tips on Direct Mail Monday. Have a great rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.